this has been a whole load of reasons as to why I've used different drugs at different times. <laughs> I mean, why I started using was boredom, and at times why I continued was addiction, and others it was just a social thing. And yeah, I don't know. I think there's many different reasons why people start using drugs. Some good, some bad, and some that'll mess you up in the future. <laughs> And sort of third and fourth form was relatively social, but, you know, not a popular kid or anything, and then just got angry and <laughs> didn't want to know people, so. When I first smoked pot around 11, then it was a few years, would have gotten more regular around 14, 15, I guess, and I don't know, by age 16, I was pretty heavy into the opiates. Hard to explain, really. It was just everything felt okay for a change. <laughs> And then, of course, it doesn't, <laughs> so you use more, and, yeah, but, no, for a while it was just sort of, I think I was talking to an addict who was quite an advocate of them, and, yeah, I don't know, I had to explain it, really, just felt sort of rebellious, but in a way that was, I don't know, I guess for a while we felt we were changing the world somehow, but it was all a bit of a <laughs> delusion, really. <laughs> Overdosing, to be honest, is when you realise, hey, this could quite easily kill me, <laughs> and you just I guess after a while, it's you start off and you don't care about what you're losing. And I think for me, I, you know, I started wanting to just be fucked up and different, and <laughs> I just shot up too much and ended up just sitting around vomiting for ages, feeling as if I was going to die and kind of wishing it'd hurry up, but. It didn't, and after a while it just turned into pretty bad withdrawal. <laughs> I guess I was good at hiding it for a long time, then they kind of knew, but if I wouldn't tell them anything, they couldn't figure it out, and... Yeah, once I finally did sort of tell them I needed some help, they were there to support me. <laughs> I can accept that I'm always going to have a certain personality trait. <laughs> Gotta try to control it, really. <laughs> It's just me, not much I can do about it. I've, you know, played with chemicals that are addictive and are going to, you know, when you're changing neurochemistry and the like, you're going to have some lasting thing and can't do much, but I'd accept that, really. Still smoking quite a bit of pot and take a bit of acid and ecstasy at gigs and the like, but nothing overly heavy. Odd time you've got me, though. A bit of a heavy binge last week that just I guess you could call it a relapse of such, and mate had a bit of mess and <laughs> decided to offer me some, and that led me to go collect a few old debts and the like. But, <laughs> but yeah, no, these days, um, yeah, I won't say I'm not using, but my view is you can't really ever help someone that's more, they can hear advice that works for them. Like, you can't directly help anyone, but you now I just figure as best for people to know about experiences from those who've lived them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, I guess it's the way I attempt to help people, is if I see a mate starting to get into something, it's just, look, this, this is what it can do. <laughs> I guess over the past few months I've just realised that I want to travel and write, and writing something I'm good at, and <laughs> yeah, just learnt that over the years I've had a fair bit of experience and material that would be good for writing, but yeah.